my name is Heather. Um, I wanted to show you how to make um, a spider web today. It's going to look like this. And if you want to see it like on the wall, you can watch my Halloween home tour. It's a Halloween home tour 2020 Heather B. Shaw. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So first thing you're going to do is take one of these um, spider webs that you can get from Dollar Tree. It looks like this when you get it and you just pop the spider off. Save that for another project. They're pretty good for other things. And then um, you're going to you're gonna pull this off. Like It comes off pretty easy. Once you get started with it, it's easier. There's like little little prongy teeth on there that you want to be careful not to uh, not to break the actual spider web. See, I broke the spider web there. So we're not going to be able to use that piece. So now I'm going to have to be careful with the rest of it. But you just wind this carefully off of there, comes off, and you want to save the black stuff that comes off of there. The, I don't know what you would call that stuff, but you, you want to save this tinselly string to cover it up when you're finished with the second project I'm going to show you how to do. So you just keep going, keep going, take it all off, and I don't want to take it off on half of it though, so I'm going to leave this piece attached and just keep going right there and then take your scissors snip it right there so you just want you just want a 90 a 90 degree section like that for this project so just keep pulling it off and there's little tabs in there you can just pop those off with your finger because you want to take them off anyway and just keep going it comes off pretty easy except for those little tabs. Just be kind of gentle. See, and then you get a piece like that. We're going to cut that off. Save that. And there. And we're going to leave this piece going to that part right there. We don't, we want to save that part. Okay, so then you're going to cut out the 90 degree angle. So what you're going to be left with on this project is this, this piece right here. And see how it has these little teeth on it? You can just pop those right off. We can pop those off and see here's one, two. Pop it off and just get rid of it. Okay, then you're going to take some of this puffier chenille looking yarn. It's like kind of thick, it's soft. Kind of like um, when you get those... Uh, soft really soft christmas socks and stuff that's made out of that kind of material and then you want to you want to cut off i don't know enough that you can work with we're going to say i don't know six feet okay and then you're going to glue a little piece right here at the start the corner and then wait until it's dry and then you can start and then you're just going to wind this around you're just going to keep winding it that's why you want to cut your string kind of short so that it's easier for you to wind it. This is going to take a little bit. So you're just going to keep going all the way around, all the way around, cover all of the pieces of the spider web. It's not hard. You just keep going. I'll wait and I'll go to the end of this string and then I'll show you how to stop. Sometimes it's easier if you make like a, a small yarn ball and then that way you can set it on your surface and just Keep whipping it through there. You don't have to be super, super neat, especially with the thicker yarn. The thicker yarn is a little bit easier to work with than thin white yarn. I tried it the first time with just a regular, you know, thin crochet yarn, and I took it off because I felt like you could see imperfections a little bit better. I think this looks better. Get it through the right hole. You want to make sure you have it snug in each section. You know, something you can do while you're sitting around watching TV at night or something. Almost like crocheting would be. I don't really crochet. I've tried it before. I used to do it when I was a kid, but I don't know, maybe someday I'll get back to trying to do that again. My daughter's tried. She's tried knitting and stuff. I think she kind of likes crocheting, but you know, she's in college, so 
it's hard to have time for craft hobbies too. And then when you get to the corner like this right here, because it's going to be hard to not have the elbow show, the best thing to do is just take a, a spot of hot glue, just a little bit, put it right on that corner like that, and then wrap it right on top of that so it stays right in place and just keep going all the way around. Just keep going. See, it goes pretty fast. There's not that much to it. It's not complicated at all. It's pretty easy. I'm surprised somebody, I haven't seen somebody else already do this because it, I think it's a pretty cute project and it's easy. And every year Dollar Tree has those spider webs, so they're pretty easy to come by. I think, I'm pretty sure they still had some when I was there the other day. Everything's pretty picked over at this point, but this is a good project to do if you're trying to decorate your house for like last minute planning a party or something and you want to have your house look pretty festive for Halloween. You know, that's the good thing about Halloween. You can really decorate your house and not have it cost you a fortune. And, you know, you can do whatever you want because it's Halloween. And you don't have to worry about making a big meal. That's the best part. So just keep going. We're going to go to this corner and then I'll show you. So the best thing to do, like if I was running out of string right here. Move this. Get more comfortable. I'm going to have a table in this room eventually. It just hasn't happened yet. We've been so busy. My, this used to be... My father-in-law's room, he just passed away a couple weeks ago and, you know, we were talking about what we were going to do with this room and I like to craft and everything, so it's going to be my craft room, keep my art supplies and everything in it, and a guest room. It's, yeah. I do feel guilty because, I don't know, just do. That I'm going to have it be a room that I'm excited about having, and but he's not here anymore. You know, it's sad. But we took care of him for three years, and he had cancer, and it just kept getting worse. And you know, you know how that goes. Cancer does suck. But anyway, on a lighter note, um, you're going to cover the whole entire thing with this yarn, and see how it comes out really neat looking, really kind of soft and spider webby. You could do this with black too, especially if you're going to be putting it on a white wall, but when I see spider webs, they're always white, so that's why I went ahead and went with white on this particular project. And then, after I got to the end, then I hung another piece of yarn. Oh, oh, you don't want to make a knot or anything. Just glue it down and then glue another start right where you've stopped. That way you don't have big lumps or anything anywhere. Because see how there's no lumpy spots? It just stays smooth and puffy, the same amount of puffiness all over. So then you're going to take one long string and then you're going to glue a spider to the end of it. And then that way it can hang down when you put it in the corner of your room like that, like up against your ceiling and you thumbtack it up against the ceiling, you're going to have a spider hanging down. And I did spiders hanging from this area on some and spiders hanging from this area on some. And you could even do one hanging from here. Um, I tried to keep this one on this area because the spot that I have this spider web hanging is kind of a spot that you walk by. I didn't want it to be hanging from here and sticking out into the room even further. So that's that project. If you watch my home tour, like I said, um, you, can, you can see these in action. All right, the next project with the same kind of spider web is also in my Halloween home tour. Um, I made it for my stair, stair rails. So what you do with this is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut which side was broken. Where was that? No, I don't even see it. But anyway, you're going to cut here, 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 and then here. that. 
Okay, and then this is the piece that you took off. So we're gonna save that. Cut that, save it. And then this piece that was loose because it was hooked up on the other half, we're just gonna take the hot glue gun, give it a couple spots. And just glue it, glue it down. So it's stuck on there pretty good. And then you have this piece right here. That's enough to cover that part right there. So cover that with some hot glue. Try not to burn yourself because this is kind of thin. And that's enough. That's, just, that's pretty much perfect. I'll have a little piece to cut off. And then I got a piece right here that I need to glue on. Put that part down. Okay. And which one of these is shorter? The shorter piece. And we're going to glue on this piece. All the way down through there. Like that. And just take this, stretch it out, stick it right on there. Okay, now, if you're into Halloween, which I'm sure that you must be because you're, you're watching this, at Target they have um, the light up half um, spider webs like this with lights on it, and it comes with three, and they hang kind of like one like this, and then it's got a link with one here, and then like one over here, so they don't hang in a straight line. But I wanted mine to look similar to that, but a little bit different, because I, I think those are neat looking, but I had, I had this different idea. Okay, so you got that one. This piece, this piece is finished. So then what you're left with is this piece, okay? And the reason I wouldn't have taken all of the tinsel stuff off of this piece if I wasn't showing you how to do this piece, I would save like all the black, all the black would stay on there. So, but you're left with this part right here with nothing at the top. But if you take a, shab a shish kebab skewer, that will fit pretty much all the way across there. So you take that and you take two of them and you can glue one to this tab and then take another one and glue it on these three tabs. You want to glue it on several tabs and that way it's extra sturdy. So I'll show you what that looks like. Maybe this, see this is the one that's broken. But this is just so I can show you anyway. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take glue, 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 glue on all of those, on all of those points. And then you're gonna take your skewer and you're going to set it down on top of there. Okay. Like that. Let that dry. That tinsel stuff makes kind of a mess. So, let that dry for a second. Doesn't have to be super neat because you're going to cover it with the black stuff anyway. And then I'm going to cut this like right here get the point off of there and then I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to overlap it for a little bit of a section like overlap it like I don't know inch two inch just enough to give it make it a little bit sturdier so cut this off you don't need all of it cut about I don't know three inches off of it four inches off of it and then put some glue on this one and you would have that one right there too that broke off so you put glue there and that one and just put it right on the inside edge of your other skewer right up to the middle just to make it a little sturdy because we want these to last because you can use this again next year i like dollar tree um diys but i don't i don't want to make something that i'm only going to be able to use one year and then it's kind of garbage the next year it's so like if, if I'm going to go through the trouble to make something, I kind of want to be able to use it more than one year or give it to my daughter and she can use it at her house or something the next year. Anyway, so you'd have like all of your 
black stuff on here still. So picture that. Like, okay, so you got this minus this part up here. So then you just take the part that you unwound on there and you're going to glue that down to that top piece so that you can't see the stick. So what you're gonna have, I don't know why I put that so far away. What you're gonna have is, I even covered this one with a little bit of marker, but on some of them, but not all of them, so it wouldn't have light showing through. But what you're gonna have is this after. So you're gonna have one with skewer, one without skewer. So each one of the spider webs that you buy from Dollar Tree, you can make two of these along with the skewers. So then you hook these together like this, like that, or in your stairs. And then on my on mine, I took some of these furry spiders. I think I might have gotten these. I don't know. I think I got them at Dollar General. But on my stairs, because my stairs go like at, you know, at an angle like that, I hung these spiders on this first, you know, kind of crooked part. So then that way, this would hang down in between my stair railing. So you would hang it wherever it makes sense for your stairs. But that's where it makes sense for mine. And then I was thinking, I haven't done it yet, but I have this, see, it's another thing I put too far over. These are getting a good view of me. Um, so I have these lights that are really tangled up. If you wanted to, I think, which I'm going to, because I had one more piece that I needed to hang on my stairs that I was saving to do this to this um, tutorial. But anyway, let's see. I'm going to... I think I can probably line this on here. Because the one that you get from Target has, I believe it's purple lights on it, but these lights, these lights are clear. But I think I can wind these on here. Let's see if I can get the idea. them go nice and neat. I can put them on here nice and neat, unlike right at the moment, but I can have them all going up my stairs and I think it would look super cool. So if you see my Halloween tour, Heather B. Shaw's Halloween tour, um, you can see these going up my stairs and I'm going to put the final one on there and I'm going to try putting the lights on there. We'll see how it looks. All right, let me know what you think. Thanks.